All right, guys. Um, I woke up about 20 minutes ago or 15 minutes ago. Went to the bathroom. Um, I already had my juice. I have that at like 5:45, but it's 10 o'clock right now, so I've already had about like 660 calories in me. So that's nice. I just didn't feel like I had to record that just because I want to kind of like I don't want any electronics on me. I like to just like keep it dark and I'll just chug it while I'm like half awake, half asleep, and then I can go back to bed and it feels like I didn't even count, but we're going to go weigh ourselves because, you know, it's what we got to do. Um, like I said, I already went to the bathroom, so this is going to be me at the lightest and I weigh myself usually at the same time every single day just to see if I can track my progress properly, so. So we're 220.2, which not bad. Um, I've been probably staying at that for about a couple days now. We're just 220 flat, easy in the morning. Um, so then in training, I'm like 223, 224. Not bad, not bad. Definitely very good. Um, we're going to have to keep eating though because I want to kind of make it where it's like 223 in the morning. But I'm very happy with where we're at right now because 220, just waking up. All right, so I just got my food done made, made my bed. So today for our first meal, basically, we have three brats right here. If you guys know me, if you've been following me on the channel, I usually have brats in the morning. Um, they're easy calories, 230 calories each. So it's like, like, come on, come on, you know, best bang for your buck. So I'll have three brats. And also, you know, pineapple gang, I always have a thing of pineapple. I usually get the 500 calorie one, which is basically just syrup one. But this is the 100% pineapple juice, which, you know, it's fine. It's only 300 calories. Then I'll probably have tuna, a little bit of tuna just to, you know, kind of get in the system. I feel like for me personally, right, um, the brats kind of slow down the digestion. It feels like I'm not going to get as hungry as fast. But with tuna, right, for some reason, I just can get hungrier when I'm eating it. Also, it's sweet and spicy, so it's going to be good, you know. So it's just making it where you're going to have enjoyable meals, you know. They don't have to be, like, full-out crazy enjoyable, but just things you know you're not going to have to puke down, you know. And for me, personally, I'm eating so much food. So if I'm eating these foods every single day, I'm going to have them be good ones, or ones that I can actually like, scoff down. So, um, yeah, I think that's a big thing. Like people forget when they're bulking is like they'll pick like some crappy foods like broccoli and chicken and rice, and it's like, stop, eat something good, you know. But also for me, I have to really think about the calories. So it's like one, make sure the food's good for the most part, and then calories. Sometimes calories have to override the food tasting goodness because. You know, sometimes you get low on your calories and you just got to scoff down a giant shake that might taste nasty or whatnot. But I haven't really had that anymore. You know, I used to have that really bad during school time. But with how my day is laid out, it's not too bad anymore. Uh, quick update. So, uh, shaved my face because I had a little bit of a scruff going. Um, I got to clean my entire room because it's just not ideal. I've been just kind of been like a slob. And I just don't have anything organized. It seems like I have like some things organized, but not everything. So we'll do that. Um, I'm uploading the video right now of the squat. I mean the bench video, and that's gonna be in about an hour or something. It's at nine percent and whatnot. So yeah, that'll be cool. Um, but as of right now, I'm gonna have to make some mac and cheese in about a couple minutes or so. But just gotta keep uh, reorganizing my room. But yeah, I might get a haircut today. I don't know. We'll see uh, how time works. But yeah. <sighs> Terribly sorry, guys. Um, I didn't even like grab my camera. I can't like. I'm not even used to like videoing. It's been such a long time. But it's six o'clock right now, and we're gonna get some gonna get some good footage. I guess you know. I'm gonna get ready for the gym. Uh, I went to the thrift store, went to my grandpa's, it's basically what happened. Got hit on by some old ladies, which was nice, you know? And they wanted me to take her, do her granddaughter or niece out or something. It wasn't really happening, but you know, you take take that as a W. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to get dressed. We'll see what happens. Uh, i got to think what kind of pre I'm going to take. So when I calculate what kind of pre I'm going to take, because I've got a box literally filled with pre's, uh, I'll show you guys. All right, so we got everything, you know. Always grabbing the most amount of stuff for the gym, it seems like. I pack the entire... I pack an entire gym, it seems, you know, but this is the thing. I brought clear isolate, so when I'm done with my workout, because I brought my 900 calorie juice, which I'm making a video on with what kind of juice, where can you get it, all this other stuff, because I have so many questions about it that it gets my, uh, my inboxes filled to the brim, and like, don't get me wrong, I love when you guys message me, but... When it's the same thing over and over, when I can just make a video on it, I might as well just make the video, you know? So, that's one thing that will be probably up in the next video. Uh, I'm probably going to make it a series of bulking, like, uh, like, I don't know, bulking ingredient or something. I'll think of a nice title, I guess, unless you guys want to throw it in the comments. That'd be very helpful. Waiting for Perry. But, Perry Power Building? But, uh, yeah, got chalk right here. I'm, I'm ready for this day. I'm like, crap, I'm not ready. My headphones are right inside. One second, I'm gonna go get them. And yeah, hey guys, so we arrived at the gym. I have a rough idea of what kind of pre-work I'm gonna be taking. I haven't taken it yet, just because I wanna take it when I'm in there, because I also have warm-ups, and that's probably gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes, plus, you know, actually throwing on the weights. So, yeah, um, I'm excited today. I'm gonna get focused and uh, hopefully we hit some big numbers. I've got every single thing to get warmed up. We got the voodoo bands, we got the pre-workout, we got the water, we got the smell and soap, we got every single thing. Um, I think I'm gonna take this pre. I don't know if I've showed you guys this one. Um, it might have been in a video that I didn't get to post because my MacBook crashed, but anyways, this is a powerlifting pre-workout. Um, I'm gonna take that with probably two pills or three red pills, all depends on the day. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're uh, gonna get all warmed up and hopefully deadlifts go the way we want it to.
I probably took like a 20 minute break. I, I, like, I had to sit down and just think of what just happened because that right there was crazy, okay? Um, 720, all time PR, stiff bar, not even deadlift bar. Um, I came in here today thinking I'm like, all right, 700 or something, you know? But then 690 moved easy like you guys saw. And my coach is like, dude, 720. And I'm like, all right. We picked that up, you know, a little shaky, but all time PR. Guys, this is crazy. Um, we're 220. We're gonna gain about another five pounds, hopefully. Get, you know, just some good training in because these last training block was just bad because I, I went on vacation, I lost weight, I just, sacrificed so much when I did that, that when I came back, it was just super hard for me to get back into this groove. But we're training at night times. We got meals in, we are turning into animals, I'm telling you. We are, we are conforming into this just giant beast, abominable snowman looking. But um, yeah, uh, we have like three by seven or something, so. I'm gonna do that with 545 because that's be RP6. My back might be a little fried. So we'll test the waters. Hopefully uh, we'll do that. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, I'm just, thank you, dude. Um, it was a good day, good day.
that's today's workout. I gotta probably head to Holiday and pick up a pizza and have a shake because, you know, it's 12 o'clock and I still have to get that in. Um, dude, guys, you saw what I was deadlifting on. Horse stall mat right there, but it wasn't just that. I got a piece of plywood that's right here and then two sheets of blue board. Costed me nothing. The horse stall mat was already here, but I already knew I wouldn't be able to drop any weight on that thing without breaking the concrete. So I looked up on YouTube and all this other stuff and people had like, oh, build a deadlift platform, 100 bucks, 150 bucks. I'm like, dude, I don't want to spend that much money on a deadlift platform. Like, I just need something that's going to work and it's functional. So I uh, went to my grandpa. I was like, hey, dude, you got any supplies? I also went, I actually went to a store first and it's because I was going to pick up another horse stall mat, but they were closed. So he's like yeah dude i got some plywood and he's like hey does blue board work i'm like hmm. yeah so threw the blue board down then the plywood then the horse stall mat thing worked dropped 720 on it it worked so um haven't had any problems costed me zero dollars so i mean hey if you guys really in desperate to need a deadlift platform honestly you could find those things probably in the garbage or for very, very cheap if you're just looking for functionality and not looks. So, yeah. All right, dude, I tried putting on my ring and this finger's so swelled up. I don't know if you guys can see this. It, I can't even get it, so I had to put it on this finger. Um, since it's like a 20, 25 minute drive back to where my house is and I still have to go to the grocery store, I'm going to get, I'm gonna put some uh, my protein whey isolate and my water just because I need those extra calories. I think it's 80 calories per scoop and I'm gonna probably just double scoop her or whatever. Maybe it's two scoops. One scoop is 80 calories, yeah. So I'm gonna double scoop it just because, you know, we're gonna be savages like that. I gotta take this part off. All right, so I'm home now. Um, I forgot my mom got Chinese. So I'll probably eat that because it sounds good right now, even though it's 12.30. Um, probably have that so I don't think I'm gonna video it just because I really need to go to bed you know I was at the gym a little way too late but we had a nice juicy single so this will be the end of the video but what I will be doing is eating Chinese and going to bed um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I thought I thought it, I think it was it's gonna go pretty good it all depends on how well I can edit this in Premiere because like I said in the last video if you haven't watched it yet go watch it um that I'm editing in Premiere Pro and it's all new to me, so I'm really just trying to get back into my old editing skills. But since I'm in Premiere, it's a little hard, you know. But, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a like. Share it. Comment it. Dude, I need this thing to explode up. We need to get that subscribes up. We gotta get them followers up. I'm just gonna be hammering out content, eating food, and smashing PRs, you know. And then show you guys some hacks on the way, so... Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, sweet. Love you guys. Gotta go to bed. Have a good night.